Praise God, everybody. Praise God. Uh, I have been having technical difficulties logging into the um, God and Light Ministry. Um, I can't log in to the conference call portion. Uh, so, unfortunately, the conference call uh, will not be held tonight, but I will be live here on Facebook. We praise God for this opportunity to come and to speak and teach, preach God's word. Um, we're getting a few viewers on right now. Uh, normally, when we start up on the conference call, this is a time of our devotional and we would sing and and all of that, but tonight we, we're, we're just going to pray and go straight to the word. So again, I say to you, welcome. Welcome to the Guiding Light Ministry International Prayer and Bible Study Conference Call. This is the Friday Night Lights edition, and I am your host, Pastor Mark McCoy, along with my co-host, who's not with us this month, this evening on the Facebook uh, Pastor Paul McCoy. Uh, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is a day we've never seen before and a day we'll never see again. And as always, we believe it is a day to praise the Lord. Uh, glory, Lord. Hallelujah. We praise your holy name. You're so worthy of all the praise. Let us go now to the Lord in prayer. The Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you for all of your blessings. We thank you, Lord, for giving us this opportunity to uh, speak your word on this Friday Night Lights edition of the God and Light Ministry. We thank you, Lord, for everyone that is listening now and those that will be listening in the future. We thank you, God, because you're God and you're God all by yourself. We praise you and give you all the glory and all of the honor and all of the praise. This is the Advent season. Tis the season to be jolly, Lord. This is the season in which you came to earth, the Heavenly Father, to, to bless us, to, to be that special gift. And Lord, you gave it all, and we thank you for it right now. Now, Lord, we just ask you as we get ready to Study your word that you just bless as only you can. In the mighty and precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Uh, our lesson for tonight comes from um, a key starting point of first see, see, Philipp, Philippians, Philippians chapter 2, Philippians chapter 2. And um, we're going to start looking at verse 5 and read all the way over to verse 11. Philippians chapter 1, no, chapter 2, excuse me, starting at verse 5. It reads like this. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bond servant and coming in the likeness of a man. And being found in the appearance as a man, he humbled himself, became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. And so here we are tonight to bring this word. We, 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 we're bringing this word over the, the internet, over Facebook, because um, um, our normal method of doing Facebook and the conference call together is, 
is not working out tonight. The conference call line, for some reason, I can't log in. But we're going to preach God's word anyhow. Amen. So we, we we're not going to have that opportunity today to, to listen and, and conversate, if you will, after the, the message is given. But, but we pray that all is well. Amen. Amen. Um, this, this, this lesson, this lesson, uh, is dealing with, um, uh, tis the season, uh, of giving and serving. Tis the season of giving and serving. We have to have an attitude of service, of serving. We, we have to have an attitude of giving. And, and, and Paul, and Paul, when, when he wrote this letter to uh, the church in uh, Philippi, uh, he, he had this thing where he's like, okay, I need you guys to get your attitudes right. I need you to get your mind set. And, 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 and the reason I believe he was doing this was is because oftentimes, especially for us, Today, in this season, we get caught up in the commercialization of the season. And, and, and I just have to say it, you know, no ifs, ands, and buts about it. Jesus is the reason for this season. And, and what we ought to do is we ought to be like him. We ought to do what he did. And, 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 and so Jesus... In this season, over 2,000 years ago, gave his life for us. He, he, he came on the scene and, 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 and became that child that was born in a manger to his earthly mother, Mary, and to his earthly father, Joseph. The, the, the season was, was about uh, that birth to, 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 the, to that child that we call wonderful, that child that we, we call beautiful, that child whose very name means saved, to be saved. And he came. And when and we know the story, we know the story. I'm not going to tell all of the Christmas story, but but we know that the shepherds, were, were, were up, up on, on their job that night and, and the angels showed up and told them glory, glory to God in the highest and goodwill and peace to all men. For unto you this day a child is born. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was born in this season, this season of Advent, this season of the Christmas holiday that, that we celebrate. And so this season is a season of giving. God gave his all. It's a season of giving. Jesus gave his all. It's a season of not only giving, but it's a season of, of, of serving. Listen to the text again. Listen to the text. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant and coming in the likeness of men. Oh, hallelujah. We got to get our attitudes right to understand that Jesus Christ knew who he was. He was part of the Godhead, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. But, but at the same time, he was equal with God. He made himself of no reputation, meaning, meaning that he took off all of his glory. All of this Shekinah glory and, and those who are listening tonight and you're looking and seeing it on the video, I like, I don't know where this light came from over my head. I guess it's the Shekinah glory of God tonight. And, and he, 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 he let, he let off all of his glory and came and took
took the form of man, a bond servant. Oh, hallelujah. This Christmas. What, 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 are, you, what, are, you, what, what are you doing to, to give? What are you doing to serve? Is, is this Christmas all about what you're going to receive? Your, your list of presents that you want? Your, your dreaming that, that you've been good this, this Christmas holiday or this whole year and you made Santa's good list and, and you're going to receive what you want to receive? Oh, oh man. I mean, th this, this is about giving. This is about giving. So, 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 as, as one comment just came across the screen, we got to decrease that he might increase in us. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. He says, now, not only, not only must we have a mindset of giving, this mindset of giving all our time, our talent, and our treasure must be enveloped in humility. Listen to what it says in the text. Verse 8, and being in the form of a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Oh, hallelujah. When you give, when you give, don't give out of arrogance. Don't give out of pride so that you can say, well, I, I didn't help somebody. I gave to somebody. No, 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 no. This is a time when you're humble in your giving. When you're, you're, you have an attitude of gratitude, you know that you are blessed and that you just want to be a blessing to someone else. You know the source of your blessing. Your blessing does not come from your ability. Your blessing comes from above. And you need to humble yourself just like Jesus did and be obedient even to the point of death. And I said, we say, what you mean being obedient? Well, 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 I, I got to go here. I got to go here on some of you. Uh, uh, my pastor, my pastor, 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 Dr. Julius R. Scruggs of the First Missionary Baptist Church of Huntsville, Alabama, formal National Baptist president. He asked the question one day in service. And, and he says, this year, how many people have you led? To Christ. How many folks have you led to Christ this year? It's December. It's December now. I mean, we're talking about from January of 2017 to this point. How many people have you led to Christ? And it was like, whoa. People were like, no, I ain't. I ain't led nobody to Christ. I, so I, got, I led a couple of folks in my family. Other people say, well, I, I led one or two people. I mean, I mean, you know, and the others say, no, I, I, I don't do that. That's the preacher's job. That's somebody else's job. I, I, I gave, I gave at the office, if you will. I put my money in the offering plate so, so that, that they can go out on their missionary journeys and I can support a ministry. Oh, yeah, that's wonderful. That's just great. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for all of your support. But are you being obedient to God's word? Listen to the Great Commission out of Matthew chapter 28, starting at verse 18. And Jesus came and spake unto them and said, All power is given unto me in heaven and earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, because lo and lo, I'm with you always, even 
to the ends of the world. That's our great commission. We, we got to tell everybody about the name of Jesus. We got to tell everybody about Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. We got to know how to lead folks to Christ. That ain't just the preacher's job. That's not just the evangelist's job. That is our job. This is our commission. This is the reason that we're here. This is the reason for this season. So, I'm coming back to humility. You say, what, what do you mean? What you well, I'm dealing with humility and obedience. You can't be walking around with your nose up in there. Like you just don't care about nobody. And you claim to be a Christian. And you say, well, I got all what I need. I'm blessed. They better get it themselves. Everybody you come in contact with needs Jesus Christ. I don't care if they're rich. I don't care if they're poor. I don't care if they're blind, crippled. I don't even want me to go there. <laughs> it does not matter. Everybody needs Jesus. And you are the one who ought to give them Jesus in this season. So be a big. And, 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 and so with that obedience, and that humility, you got to have some love. See, 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 that's why it says he even went to the death of the cross. Why did he do? Why did he give himself? Gave his, he gave his all. And the scripture says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And Jesus, for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross and despised the shame. The shame of someone hanging up on a tree. The shame of someone being beaten, bloody, and battered. The shame of someone being stretched out on that cross, nailed to that cross, and hung up that everybody could see his nakedness. Do you have that kind of love? Do you have that kind of compassion? Over in Luke chapter 6, verse 36, God says, he says in the New Living Translation, you must be compassionate just as your father is compassionate. Now, you probably heard this from this standpoint, like be merciful just as your father is merciful. I was driving the other day and I felt, I felt bad. I felt bad. I, I was headed to the barber shop. I was headed to the barber shop. I'm in my car. I'm going to the barber shop. I got I got twenty dollar in my pocket, and matter of fact, I had twenty one dollars in my pocket. And I got to give it's the holiday. I got to give I got to give my barber his, his holiday a uh, uh, tip. I get to the light, and lo and behold. There's this man with his sign. And he drive, drove up. I gave him a nod, gave him the finger. I said, no, nah, uh, I'm going to keep this one dollar. I'm going to get me some candy when I go back to work. <laughs> Lord, tell you, boy, uh-uh. I kept on driving. And all day. That day it haunted me. And I said, Lord, please forgive me. I could have gave that man that dollar. Please forgive me, Lord. Because he wants me. He wants you. He wants us to be compassionate and merciful to people. And, and, and it's just not this season. He wants us to do that all the time. So I say to you, if you learn to have the attitude that God wants us to have in this season and humble ourselves and be obedient and be compassionate then there is a reward see see so many people miss the fact that there is 
a reward. Before I read Jesus' reward here, here in, in, in Philippians, I, I gotta I gotta go somewhere else in Matthew. I gotta go somewhere else in Matthew. And and, and it's and it's Matthew the tenth chapter. Matthew the tenth chapter, verse 42. Listen to what this, this text says. It says in Matthew chapter 10, verse 42. And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water only in the name of a disciple, verily I say unto you, you shall in no wise lose your reward. There's a reward for being blessed. There's a reward for being a blessing. So, how is your giving this season? How is your giving all year long? How is your service this season? How is your service all year long? Well, I don't know about you, but I want my rewards. I want my blessings. And so, let us go back to to chapter uh, uh, 2 in Philippians and listen to Jesus' rewards. It says, therefore, verse 9, therefore, after Jesus had, 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 been, had been obedient, Jesus has been humble, Je Jesus knows who he is. He's given his all. He says, therefore, God, has highly exalted him. And, in, and when he exalted him, it says, and given him the name which is above every name. Oh, hallelujah. He, 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 he exalted him. He, 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 Jesus decreased and God gave him an increase. Jesus' name is a name that, that's above every Every name. God has exalted him and give him that name. Oh, you want to cause some controversy? Call on the name of Jesus. You want to cause some issues? Be in your office and go, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Yes. Everybody want to call it uh, Xmas. Uh, this is a season, holiday season. No, this is the season of Jesus. This is the, the Christmas season because he is the Christ. And we got joy, unspeakable joy. And we can say Jesus, 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 Jesus is the reason for this season. And I tell you, the scripture says that after God exalted him and gave him a, a name above every name, the scripture says that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow on this earth. Every knee shall bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and even those under the earth. That, at, that every tongue, it don't matter who you are, every tongue should confess Jesus Christ as Lord to the glory of God. Oh, hallelujah. Every knee is going to bow. So you might as well call his name now. Whatever you're going through in your life, call his name Jesus. If you got a bad attitude, you don't have an attitude of gratitude, call on the name of Jesus. If you're not ready to serve and to give, call on the name of Jesus. And then when you start serving folks, when you start leading folks to Christ, start leading off by telling them about the Jesus that you love, the Jesus that loves you, the Jesus that loves them. And you'll be surprised if you really share Jesus with somebody. It will give them the greatest gift that they could ever receive. It will give them salvation and eternal life in Christ Jesus. I'm sorry. That's the best gift. 
that anybody ever could receive. To be saved from a burning hell. To be given to Jesus Christ and Jesus giving them eternal life. Don't, don't fall short. And this is a gift that keeps on giving. The more you give, the more he gives back to you. My grandmama hated this song, but I love it. You can't beat God's giving. <laughs> no matter how you try. So just keep on giving. And I'm not just talking about your money. Your, your treasure. I'm talking about your very life. I'm talking about your attitude. I'm talking about your will to be what God has purposed you to be. So, I just want to thank you tonight for listening in because I'm going to be honest. I, I, I'm operating in the gift that God gave me. And that's to give his word to everyone I meet. I get excited to give God's word. Praise God. Are you giving your all to Jesus? Because really, it's all to him we owe. Sin had left a crimson stain, but Jesus washed us white as snow. Because he saved us because Jesus paid it all. It's all to him we owe. Give up yourself. Be humble. Be obedient. Be compassionate. And watch how God will reward you. He will reward you over and over again. I'm like the angels. I get excited when someone gives their life to Christ and they receive his eternal life. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you that this is the season to be jolly. We thank you. It's the season that we're coming to recognize as a time of giving of ourselves and to serve this present age. That's our calling to fulfill, God. Thank you. Thank you for what you gave and what you continue to give us for all eternity. You. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. As we close this recording, i like to give those who are listening an opportunity to, to give your life to Christ. And so with that, i like to pray the prayer of salvation with you. Please repeat this prayer after me. Father God, I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that Jesus died for my sins and was buried and that you raised him from the dead. I repent of my sins. Please forgive me of my sins and come into my heart. I invite you, Jesus, to become the Lord of my life, to rule and to reign in my heart from this day forward. Please send your Holy Spirit to help me obey you and to do your will for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. If I don't get the opportunity again to say this to you, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good night, everybody.